A few years ago, I did a series on my YouTube channel of interesting facts from every episode of The Office from every season. And ever since then, I've been wanting to do this to other shows that I love. And after a two year break, I thought, what the hell, let's do this again. So the show I'm doing interesting facts on every episode from every season now is... Married with Children. Married with Children is a sitcom that follows the Bundy family. No relation to Ted Bundy. Better, but still horrible. Married with Children ran on the Fox Network for 10 years between 1987 to 1997 for a grand total of 11 seasons. Like my Office series, every fact I'll be getting from every episode comes from the wiki page itself. So this might not be 100% accurate, but let's just hope. So today, let's take a trip back to 1987 and take a look at interesting facts from each episode from Married with Children Season 1. Like all shows, Married with Children had some differences between conception and air date. Bud's name was originally Ben, there was no dog, and Gary's Shoes and Accessories was originally called Bob's Shoes and Accessories. In Thinergy, Al remembers a memory of walking on Oak Street Beach with Peggy years before. Oak Street Beach is a real location in Chicago. Even though But I Didn't Shoot the Deputy was the third episode that aired, it was the fourth episode that was filmed. The reason Whose Room Is It Anyway only takes place in the Bundy's living room slash kitchen and only features the Bundy's and Rhodes's is because this episode had a limited budget. While being interviewed by his television son on his radio show Old Scratch Records years later, Ed O'Neill revealed that while rehearsing the scene after Al got stunned, both Ron Levitt and Michael G. Moy, the show's creators, both fell on the stage floor from laughter. The jewelry store that Al goes to in 16 years and what do you get? Embassy Jewels is a nod to Embassy Communications, the production company that produced the first two seasons of the show. The actor who plays Kelly's boyfriend and married without children would reappear three years later in season 4's The Agony of Defeat as a new boyfriend. Out of all of Al's friends introduced in the poker game, only Barney would make it to No Ma'am, Al's anti-feminist group he starts in season 8. Peggy's first day of work is April 4th, 1987, the day before daylight savings time. Daylight Savings Time in the year 1987 is the day that both the show and the Fox Network premiered. The actress who plays Terry Cherry, Jerry Hall, has a twin sister in real life named Terry. In Nightmare on Owl Street, Peggy mentions that Al had the chance to buy into the property that the Sears Tower would be built on. Construction on the Sears Tower began in 1970, the year before Al and Peggy got married, and would finish in 1973. Episode 12 swears the boss as a reference to the ABC sitcom Who's the Boss? Both sitcoms were filmed right beside each other at the time. Johnny Be Gone is filmed in one continuous shot. This format would be repeated with Season 11's The Desperate Half Hour, Part 1. 